Hey everybody, Dr. Earl here, sitting in the living room of our place here. I want to talk about two particular subjects. Well, actually one particular subject. For, but first, I want to say something to all the people out there protesting um, Nike, having Colin Kaepernick in one of their featured ads and they protest burning their Nike shoes. Yeah, there are some people who are doing that. Now, I understand uh, your anger over this. I don't like Colin Kaepernick myself. Like I said in my last video, he disgraced the game of football with what he was doing. If he wanted to talk about Racial injustice, he should have wrote about it as a guest columnist for the magazine. I said that many times before. That would have been a better way. But burning your Nike shoes, which you paid out of your pocket, which probably costs about 170 something, 180 something there, I'm, bro, that makes you dumb. Because that those shoes came out of your wallet. You just threw away a tons of money by doing that. The best thing to do is just not wear them for a long period of time. Keep them in the closet or somewhere in your bedroom or hidden away for a while. While you buy while you wear a different pair of shoes, whether it's K Swiss or uh ASICs or something like that, that would have been a better approach. But burning your shoes is, come on, give me a break. All right. Now, the main thing I want to talk about is this particular pastor, <clears throat> excuse me, who fondled Arania Grande's right breasts while they were on stage together during Aretha Franken's funeral a week ago. I know, I know everyone, everyone has seen the footage. I've seen it. My sister has seen it. Everyone has saw it. And I would say directly to that pastor who did that, Charles III or somebody like that, I don't, I didn't get his um, last name there. Remember, I'm not good at that at times. But you, homie, you have disgraced your church by doing that. Everyone has saw it. We saw the footage. What you did, homie, would now stand as another reason why people have been turning away from the church of God. Along with the um, tele-evangelists from the 1980s, Swaggered, Baker, Farwell. Also along with the uh, molestation accusations from uh, kids claiming that uh, their, their priests that they used to, these Catholic priests molested them. What you did, homie, was just wrong. And you notice I'm calling you homie and not pastor. Now, most likely you're probably married with kids and that. I don't know if they were in tenants for that particular part. But if I was your wife and I saw that, I would have knocked the hell out of you. You was wrong. And what you did that that particular event proved to a lot of people now that despite if it doesn't matter if you're um, a famous personality or famous singer or a television actress or whatever that you're still not free from any form of sexual harassment. 
You was wrong, homie. And that is that. You owe some apologies, bottom line. I know you already issued one, but you need to apologize to your congregation and to your family as well. And to us, the public. That's all I'm going to say. I'm Dr. Earl. Thank you for watching. Sorry if um, I still look a little blurry here. Hopefully soon we'll get uh, the other lens taken care of on my phone here. Subscribe to my channel.